by Instawire, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk boxing. Today is Wednesday, June the 26th, 2019. But first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let me also say, I should have said, let's talk MMA. But let's touch on a boxing match first. I see that the line is shifting. People are waking up to the fact that Manny Pacquiao somehow was an underdog against Keith Thurman. Who, of course, in the one fight he's had in over a year and a half, looked terrible. Was on the verge of getting stopped in the seventh round was facing a guy who likes to trade, couldn't stop him, had to go the distance. Now he's in the ring with a faster fighter, faster than him, in Manny Pacquiao. Understand, I get what Thurman's saying when Thurman says, hey, Pacquiao's predictable in the ring. Right? The same could be said about Deontay Wilder. You know Pacquiao is going to hit you with that straight left. But he's a fastball pitcher. You know it's coming. You can't do anything about it. Right? Well, the odds have shifted. Pacquiao now is even money. He's a plus 100. Thurman's still favored at a minus 120. But Pacquiao is a plus 100. Right? I wouldn't be surprised if by the time this fight goes off, Manny Pacquiao is favored. Right? You, you don't get Pacquiao at these odds that often, especially when he's not fighting a guy who's at the top of his game. Well, let's shift gears. Let's talk MMA. I do think there's a great bet on the board. It's long odds, but I think it's worthwhile. And it's Amanda Nunez against Holly Holm. Now, just to understand who Amanda is, she's absolutely dominant. She is the top of the food chain. Has not lost since 2014, is on a run. That includes two victories over Valentina Shevchenko, a victory over Misha Tate, a victory over Ronda Rousey, and to top it off, a victory over Chris Cyborg. Right? She's in her prime. She's 31 years old. She is MMAJunkie.com's 2018 female fighter of the year. Now, believe it or not, somehow you're getting her at less than a minus 400. You're actually getting her at a minus 350. Right? Those odds suggest that she has a 77% chance of winning the fight. I actually think her chances of winning are higher because I don't think Holly Holm at 37 is still world class, right? She's in decline, folks, since her win over Ronda Rousey in 2015. In other words, you have to go back three and a half years, right? Three and a half years since her win over Ronda Rousey. Just understand that Holly Holm has fought six times and has lost four of the six. It's noteworthy too that at least three of the fighters were fighters who Nunez has already beaten. Right? So home lost to Misha Tate. Home lost to Valentina Shevchenko. Home lost to Chris Cyberg. Now those are great fighters. I'm not here to say different. But let's face it, Holly Holmes is not even on an above 500 or a 500 run over her last six fights. And she's fighting someone who, right, over the last five years is unbeaten and is taking out the biggest names in the sport. I like Amanda Nunez here. I'll be surprised if home goes the distance. Right? 
normally when I see long odds like this, a minus 350, I'm hesitant. I'm not hesitant here. The current odds give home about a 22% chance of winning the fight. I believe her actual chance of winning the fight is lower than that, right? I like Amanda Nunez here. I like her big. I think she beats Holly Holm. I'll take the minus 350 on Amanda Nunez. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.